Hey guys, Christian here, and today we're gonna add Instagram feed to your Shopify store. Let's get started. Many e-commerce brands are active on Instagram as it is a visual platform that perfectly helps e-commerce businesses attract, engage, convert customers through social commerce, right? So when you get an Instagram feed to your Shopify store, this will help immensely boost your returns on investment as you can leverage the user-generated content to build social proof for your company. You can showcase brand loyalty and advocacy, display your hashtag campaigns, and turn UGC into shoppable content and much more depending on the app, of course. So first things first, I wanna talk about some themes have a built-in version of an Instagram feed. For example, this theme right here, Spark, has a social proof section, which you can manually add some images. So for example, if we scroll here down the bottom, on the left-hand side it says social proof. So this is just a, the theme trial, so we can kind of see what we're working with here. But as you can see, you can choose different columns, different how many images per column. You can choose a heading, subheading, that image aspect ratio. And then you basically go one by one, adding some of your images. So this is a, so you, see you can add a post essentially. And then when you click on the post, you can select an image, you can have a link somewhere. You can also, you know, have number of likes, etc. It gives you a little message here that, hey, misleading customers with fake numbers could fall under unfair and deceptive acts. So probably not, you know, lie about the likes that you have on those pictures, but you can do post it by, caption, etc. So it's sort of like a fake Instagram feed that you can have on your, on your homepage. It's more of a curated, you know, type of feed. So it's not exactly what we want, but I just wanted to mention it because some themes have something like this. And I've seen in the past, some that actually grab your Instagram API and have a very simple Instagram feed. The only thing is that it's not as powerful as some of the apps that we're gonna talk about where you're able to click on the, on the image and shop for that particular item right there from your website. Now, before we get into number two, I just wanna say welcome to everyone new. My name is Christian Pinion, one of the co-founders here at Bitbranding. We've been helping frustrated store owners since 2015 become impactful store owners through tutorials, tactics, and strategies. And the one way you can support our channel is by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications. All right, so the second thing is we're going to figure out which app will actually work best. Not all apps are created equal, prices fluctuate, features can be different, but we highly, highly recommend for you to check out this curated collection by Shopify. Uh, we're gonna put the link down in the description below, but it's basically you're going to the app store and they have a curated collection that for some reason it's not listed um, on their navigation, but it does exist because we have the link. I think we found this link in a help, help center section and it's awesome because it has the works with Instagram. So these are apps curated by Shopify that actually are connect, interconnected a little bit better with Instagram and actually more legitimate. So you probably have a better experience with the apps in this particular collection versus trying to find something that may be the cheapest option, but maybe not the best option. All right, so I'm gonna click on that link. So as you can see, it's collections forward slash works dash with Instagram. And this will show you 13 results in here of some of the most legit, legitimate apps out there that could potentially do an Instagram feed. Now, some of the ones that we've worked with in the past is Elfsight, the Insta Show Instagram feed, and then Insta Feed, Instagram feed by Mint Studio are two pretty well-known ones that I would highly recommend. Um, another but more expensive one is Shoppable Instagram and UGC by 460. Um, this is probably one of the most expensive ones out here. I believe it starts at around $50. So if you have the capital, if you have the money, then this one by 460 is gonna be um, something really good for you. Now. We're gonna go and check out InstaFeed. We're gonna install that and connect it to our Instagram. So I'm gonna click on InstaFeed. Now the reason why we're doing this one is one, they have 920 reviews, so it has the most reviews in the App Store. And another huge plus is that they have a free plan available. Now if we scroll down to the bottom here, we'll be able to see that the free has forever free, supports video, it's fully customizable. You can do a grid or a slider. Uh, layout you can open a pop-up or link to Instagram 
and it's available on all devices. So if you're just starting out with an Instagram feed and you wanna just at least see something, um, highly recommend InstaFeed for your store. Now we're gonna click on Add App. All right, so the first thing you wanna do after you install the app is connect your Instagram account. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Add Instagram Account. That's gonna open a new tab with Instagram.com. If you're not already logged in, it's gonna prompt you to log into Instagram. And then in here, we're gonna allow those two. And once your account is connected, you'll see this green button over here. It says account connected, and you should be able to see all of your posts in here. Now, in order to create the actual feed, you can create a title. So maybe you can say something like, Insta love, I like that. Image spacing, so you have a few options in here to maybe add some spacing in between the images. Um, you can specify what happens when you click on the image. So you can do open pop-up, show product, you can just open Instagram or do nothing. So for this purpose, we're gonna do show product. Um, layout, we can do either grid or slider and we can specify how many rows and columns we want. Click on save. Okay, after you created your feed, then in order to add this to your homepage, you wanna go to online store, click on customize your theme, and then we're gonna scroll down and add a new section. And then in here, let's click on show more. You should see one that says Insta Feed app. We're gonna click on that one, it's gonna load, and there we go. We have Insta Love, and we have our feed right here. We'll click on save on that, and then let's click on view in our store. So we scroll down to the bottom here. Oh, we can see our TikToks from our previous video. Very nice, forgot about those. And then now we can see our Instagram feed in here. And when we click on them, we should be able to see all the information for that particular post. Pretty cool. Like I said, this one is a more simple approach to adding that Instagram feed. There are other apps that basically allow you to potentially create a feed based off user generated content, right? So instead of you just showcasing your account, you can do something where if you use a particular hashtag, so for us, this could be hashtags a little bit treats 2021. I can say everyone who uses this hashtag, I want them in a feed on my homepage, right? So you can actually showcase what your customers are doing with your products on social media. You also have the ability to sort of pick and choose which ones you actually want to showcase and highlight and not just let everyone and anyone show that hashtag, right? Because someone else could be using that hashtag and it could tarnish the way that your website looks just a little bit. So just keep attention to that. And like I said, this is one of the simplest ways to add an Instagram feed to your store if that's what you were looking for. Plus, this is free. You can't beat free, really. All right, so if you were watching this video and you wanna learn a little bit more about how to fully create your store from start to finish, then you need to check out this video that we just created, which is a complete A to Z, how to create your Shopify store. We actually talk a little bit about hints and tips and little tricks that you might not know about from just doing it yourself or even reading some blog posts out there or watching other videos. So we give you our expertise when you're creating a store from scratch. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let us know down in the comments below and let me know what's your favorite Instagram feed app in the app store right now. Let me know, I wanna know.